Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one, we're actually going to be taking a look at the new ultimate skill plate, the um, Piper's Power on Apollo Creed. And I'm just going to tell you right now, uh, it turns him into a destroyer of worlds gem damage based. So the plate, whenever you make four or more pyro gems, increases all of your gem damage by 100%, and your yellow gem damage by 500% for one turn. Um, this is my Apollo. It is my strap. It is not my plate. It says basic plate, but you can see it equips in the ultimate slot. So you will need an ultimate strap with the ultimate slot unlocked. Uh, for this preview, uh, or I'm not going to be using any other skill plate, just this one. So let's take a look at the build. We're going to do body blow battery, 5 MP black, deal 160k damage, choose a 2x3 area to swap into yellow gems. Fancy Footwork Flurry, 178k damage, choose 6x1 area to make into Pyros. All gems turn yellow, uh, 6 MP. Crowd Pleasing Finale, Finisher, deal 316k damage, choose 8 gems to destroy, pin the opponent. Also, um, I just have a set of, it's maxed out, but regular Furies on here, and it's a move damage strap. So we're only sitting at 100, or actually 70% uh, gem damage on this is all. So you'll be able to get a much better one. Uh, Entourage is for a very specific reason. We are using two MP trainers, Kofi and Woods, for yellow and black MP. Both of these two start loaded in Feud. This is a Feud-ready build. Strowman for 25% yellow, and um, Hall of Fame Taker Flat for 12k uh, yellow damage. My Apollo is full stars, max levels, and he does have one thing that's helpful for Feud. Uh, in Feud, you would need to remove Strowman if you wanted to load the finisher uh, with just the regular move, but I get plus three matchy match from that. So if you don't have the moment, um, you need to put a matchy match coach on, so change this to Rikishi in feud, and then you lo load your finisher, no problem. So that would be one slight difference uh, if you don't have the moment. But um, I can tell you if I get this plate, this is how I will run Apollo. Uh, so here's our yellow gem damage, 42k. We're going to hit this move, put six pyro gems out, 135k, now you just need to not cascade, which if you're Merrick's, questionable, that would cascade, that creates a five match, I love it when the board does this to me, not ideal because that cascades there, Basically, almost everywhere I put this, uh, it will cascade. It's that kind of board. Um, I love you, game. I must be making a video. Literally everywhere is a cascade. So we're going to go here and hope for the best. Hey, hey, hey we made it. All right. That allows you to put the pyro gems out again. And get the buff again. 228k. Boom, 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 boom. Bruh. 11.8 million on Apollo. Let's see that one more time to make sure it wasn't a fluke. But Merrix, what do I need to do this? Well, you need an ultimate strap, and you need to get this plate this weekend. Uh, safe to say Merrix might turn into slight whale Rix this weekend to try and get this plate. We'll see. Have to see the event when it comes out. Um, let's just say you don't have Strowman, or you don't have uh, the moment, right? Uh, for the matching match, let's put Rikishi on for you guys. And because Apollo's animations are so sweet, and I want to, uh, we're going to turn this to normal speed. It's going to feel slow, but to me it's going to be worth it. I love this move. Boom. Especially because I used to box back in the day. And I love the Rocky movies. Bit of a mark, you could say. Uh, 
Obviously, because it's gem damage based, this will scale incredibly well into six star silver. Get to hit that fancy footwork again. Pop, pop, pop. Boom. And then. And then. I feel like we need to be playing some James Brown music. We get to hit him with the crowd pleasing finale. Does it get any better than this wind up punch? Ugh. For me, not really. Eleven million damage. Boom. So yeah, to recap, this plate is incredible on Apollo Creed. It's also good on Hall of Fame Triple H. It's also good on Piper. Also good on uh, Rosie. I will do another video, depending when I release it. I think I'll do release this one first. I'll do another video on my Hall of Fame Triple H with it, so you can see what he's like with it. And then uh, probably Rosie too, even though my Rosie's only five star gold. But let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I'm definitely going to be trying to chase this plate this weekend. Uh, like I said, uh, let's take a look at it one more time. Um, it says it's a basic plate. It's in the ultimate. As far as I understand, it's going to be an ultimate plate. Um, so there's that. Whenever you make four more pyro gems, increases all your gem damage by 100% and your yellow gem damage by 500% for one turn. So it will help. Even people that don't make yellow gems, it's obviously just, uh, you know, five times better for people that do make yellow gems. So let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.